Minions, welcome! I'm the Overlord, and this is another episode of Overlord Eats, the show where I find stuff and eat it on camera and tell you whether or not I like it. Truly a masterpiece in digital entertainment. And, you know, you ever, you ever feel like, oh man, I need to have some breakfast, but I need to get my coffee, I'm kind of in a hurry, and then you go and, and you just skip the breakfast because you'd rather have coffee than food? Well, that's not acceptable to Kellogg's. They're like, no, you're going to eat your mini weeds. So we're going to put your latte in your mini weeds. And you're just like, okay. Uh, so we have the vanilla latte flavored mini weeds here today. Uh, this is one of those things. It's like vanilla latte just kind of tastes like sugar and normal mini weeds taste like sugar. So I'm really curious to see if it tastes any different from just, you know, normal mini wheats, but I guess we'll find out. Let's get some hot milk on cereal action going. Well, I can say it certainly does smell like a latte. Mmm. Smells very, very coffee latte like. Let's go ahead and get some in our bowl right here. Uh yep. Try not to get it all over the floor. There we go. That'll do. And of course, because it is a latte flavored, naturally, that means it'll go in a cup of coffee. So we're gonna put some of these right here. Have just a little bit of leftover coffee. Put that right here. And we are going to just pour some on there. There you go. And nice and drenched. Okay. Uh, there we go. So we'll see how the ultimate test they taste in actual coffee. Uh, but until then, let's try the normal stuff. I use almond milk because my advanced demon gastronomy uh, doesn't really handle cow milk that well. So... There's that. One of the few downsides of being a all-powerful immortal being, of course. Alright, we have our cereal. And the one in the cup of coffee. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's about as far as we'll get without it spilling out. Uh, it's already expanded and sort of broken apart so there aren't like mini wheat chunks anymore. It looks pretty hecking gross, to be honest. Uh, but let's let's try it how it's how nature intended it first. Okay, that's interesting. It's. You know, kind of has the taste of like the the Lucky Charms marshmallows, believe it or not. Like you can kind of get that a little bit of a coffee taste, but I'd be I'd be interested to see if you didn't go into it thinking it was van vanilla latte, what people would actually think uh, it was. But yeah. Pretty good. A nice change of pace if you're tired of just regular mini weights. But cleaning the spoon. What we really want to see is this abomination here. All right, let's get a big, a big spoonful. Ooh, uh, you can see that from the camera, but it is not appealing at all. <sighs> all right. <laughs> it's all mushy. Oh man. Okay. Well, it wasn't that bad. It's almost like really crappy oatmeal at this point. Oh, I don't know why I took a second bite though. It's still kind of bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, it 
hardly tastes like anything in coffee. I, I don't know what the big deal is. It doesn't make my coffee taste any more like a latte, especially a vanilla latte, so... I can say for sure that there is absolutely zero reason to have your mini wheats with coffee. They don't even hold up for very long in the coffee. It's like, boom, 30 seconds and it's already mush. You, you want to have it dry as a snack or uh, as a cereal, which is a great way to start your day. Another great way to start your day or end your day or continue your day, depending on when you're watching this video, is to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more good stuff. Right now we have Pokemon Star Platinum going on as part of a Conquest series, a, a series where I will play through a game, but the catch is there's special rules involved and special mods or ROM hacks or ways to play the game differently that aren't your traditional ways of playing the game that are just like house rules. Uh, or community rules that came up with. So I'm going through a Pokemon game. It's a lot of fun. I retain a lot of my Pokemon knowledge from my uh, nerd days in college. And it's full of drama, excitement, and I put a heck of a lot of work into it. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave the playlist at the end of this video. And also at the end of this video are all of my social media. So you can follow me there. And if you want to, you know, Buy me a better coffee than, than what I just had here for you today. Feel free to go over to my Patreon and drop me a buck or two. Not just for me, but for the glory of demankind.